I'm doing a supraclavicular brachial plexus block, but uh, particularly going towards the axillary component so I don't get a, a block below the elbow. Uh, the way I do that is I find the, the nerve on the screen. This is my brachial plexus right here. This is the pleura. This is the artery. And the upper portion of this bundle is where the axillary, artery, axillary nerve runs. So I'm going to try and take my needle, place it in this direction, and uh, deposit my medication on the top of the plexus, avoiding going underneath the plexus. And you'll see me, you can see the angle I come in on. You can see right here, I start just above in the trap, and I advance my needle. see there's my needle you can see the needle on the screen very clearly I'm just rubbing the plexus it's going on top of the plexus and I'm actually going to go over it and now I'm right on top of the plexus so without an assistant I can just grab I left the needle there I'm going to start slowly injecting you can see the medication spreading it's going to spread on top of the plexus I have a very direct position of the, the nerve bundle, the needle on top of the nerve bundle, and the medication spreading. I have a total of 50, 15 cc's of medication here, so I do not require a lot of local anesthetic to create the effect I need. Now I've just popped in a sheath that you can see it kind of expanding through the <coughs> plexus. This will create a block that sets up much faster by doing that. You can see the individual portions of the plexus splitting up. So I'm just in the plexus, needles going on top, and I'm, I'm going to avoid getting medication down here, and this is going to help me achieve a shoulder block, as I say, without getting a block in the patient's hand or elbow, so they have total function of their hand and elbow, and it gives a lot more comfort to the patient. That's it, that's all 15 cc's. Okay.